Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in the northern suburbs of Chicago and we've got a great car. It's a little bit cold out today, but I'm here with Debbie. Debbie, what's your last name? Paulus. Debbie Paulus. And Debbie's got a great car. I'll grab the cameras I usually do. So Debbie, um, first of all, we're out here and uh, you have a great car and you're a car girl. What kind of car do you have? I have a 1971 Buick Riviera GS. <laughs> it's a beautiful car. It's not very common. You don't see a lot of them. And you also have this one frame off restoration and it Thank just you. came back. So congratulations. And I know that this is car has been on your list for quite some time. So congratulations for that. When did you first get this car? What year was that? November 2014. And who got you started in this? I think it was who? I um, just started. When you were growing up as a little girl, what oh, happened? Well, my grandpa had given me his 1966 Buick Electra two and a quarter, <laughs> and it, that was just an awesome car. And it was like brand new because he took such good care sure. of his vehicles. But I really, I've always loved Buicks, and I had a '74 Buick Riviera. Uh, did I say '74? '74 Buick yeah. Riviera. And now I have my '71, which I'm thrilled to death with. Let's go take a look at her. So here we have, as you can see by the license plates, the Boatail. And this one, although it's not a perfect day out, matches the autumn sky perfect. What's the uh, color on this car, Debbie? The color is vintage red, number 74. And the 1972 also has a vintage red, but it's slightly different. And I just, from people seeing, come on alongside me, if people have ever seen a Buick Riviera from the side, there's no question that that nose just really sticks out wide. And some of the beautiful jewelry of this car, I'm trying to box off a little bit of the sound so that we can make sure that the wind doesn't overtake us out here. And the GS is the uh, the Grand Sport Edition, I believe. Yes, and this is the original wheel well trim. trim. Oh, I found a fabulous polisher that brought it back to like new. Wow. Step right alongside with me. And let's take an overall look at the car. And we'll let people just take that in on a nice day like today. Beautiful. The car just blends right in. Had the wonderful venting. And that's only in 1971. The 72 and 73 boat tails did not have that. They changed that, I think, because they were having a problem with some rust issues or something I like that. I heard that they were functional or, you know, just didn't work well. And look at the beautiful boat tail and the angles of this back window. Let's open up the trunk because we do have some things in there for people. So some of the things we have is the original Buick introducing a new set of values. And I won't take you all the way through the book, but right off the bat is the Riviera. They have it on kind of a salt flats, also kind of an overcast day like we have today. But there's the GS version, as you can see. And you can just read some of the details of the Riviera GS. And I'll let people pause over that as they need to. The standard 455 engine. Right. Available in the Grand Sport, as it states. The interior seating appointments. Again, I'll let you kind of pause over that. The Mac track. And then it starts talking about the electric two and a quarter, 225. And over here, and by the way, you can see the perfect. Tip. And what's interesting is yeah. they have the hubcap face down instead of you would think oh, the yeah. hubcap would be facing up, but this is the way it's supposed to be with the jack and just tied in way. there. And, and just so people can kind of see what that looks like this way, too. I mean, you don't usually see it from this position, but you know, clearly you've got that big kind of eagle beak and wings out kind of look there. 
It's a very cool design. Yeah, it's a super, super cool, unique car. Look at this book that came with the 71 viewer color That's and trim. That's actually a dealer's book. And I'm going to go right to the Riviera, as you can see in this dealer book. And it tells you what the pieces feel like and the interior. Different seats. Riviera Custom. With the fold down, and here you've got the console. Some of the 71 Buick appearance items. Gives you different wheels. I was talking about the Riviera wheel options. That you kind of standard available. We've got the available wheels. Just amazing. Molding options, the steering wheels. This is the one we have on this car. The deluxe steering wheel. Expanded vinyl roofs. Gives you some detail on that. And then it talks about Buick exterior top, top selectors, colors, and interior color combinations, etc. Kind of like, like that. Okay. So I'm going to, um, and we'll get to that sound in a second, but I'm going to put that all back together. Put that there. We'll shut this trunk for a moment. Interesting how the key is right in the middle of the R2. Where's the gas? Is it behind the... Uh, how do you put the gas in? Okay. Plate. So, and it's kind of awkward to get to because you're not expecting yeah. it to be hidden. Yeah, it's a little, little challenging to get there. But let me open the door here. A wide door. Debbie, stay right next to it. Oh, right here? Yeah. So you can see there's a person. There's the size of the door. I mean, uh, that's that's a that's a big, expansive you have plenty doorway. Of entry and exit. And when room. you put down both of these windows too, this is a really nice ventilated car. Here's the interior, as you can see. Wonderful. You can see out the back window of the boat tail. Really luxurious. That's one of the nice things about the Riviera. Always comfortable. There, the big pull handle, the custom wheel. You notice wheel. that a tall man like yourself has this curved dash gives you room also. Yeah, there's a wonderful separation right in the middle of the car here that says you're the passenger and you're the driver. And this wonderful turned metal feel that you have with that it's just wonderful. Always like that in the Pontiacs and in the Buicks. You see on there it says disc brakes. And the AM FM radio, this shifts over. If they go to AM and FM, notice how that shifts in there as well. And the clock. Just perfect. That's uh and I, and I enjoy this too, the the separation there in the dash. I'll just kind of take that, showing you all the way back how that works. Let's open up the under the hood. Okay. The power locks. The hood is very, very heavy and And you shouldn't buy a car if you can't lift the hood, but this <laughs> one pushes the envelope. <laughs> okay, worthy of worthy of uh, making the grade, worthy of the engine. 
the original guy that owned the car from uh, the late 70s yeah. to 2013 sent me that chrome air filter cover and I had it's it restored. Beautiful. It's a little dusty. Looks good. Looks really good under here. Let's start her up, shall we? Sure. Uh, do you... Do you need me to hold it? Yeah, if you can hold yeah, that, I'll turn hold it. the engine over. Exhaust note. I won't leave you after too long. Take a quick ride just around okay. the park here. Oh, the Buick, the Buick boys are the, there. You go. <laughs> you definitely know you're in and out of the car. We'll take a quick ride in this one. How's that sound? Sure. Do you just want to drive around the? Yeah, wherever you want to go. I won't go too far because all my camera stuff's still Right, there. I was looking at that. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that though. I'm more interested in your car. Beautiful day. Roll up the window a little bit. Yeah, sure, it's cold out. Sounds great, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. How do you like when you're driving this? It's like a boat. It truly is. You know, they say that, you know, they drive like a boat, but they really do because they're so smooth and you feel like you're riding the waves. It's pretty amazing. Very cool. It, totally different than the cars of today. I'm going to turn around sure. here because we want to get stuck. What a, what an expansive hood, right? I mean, the hood when you're is looking huge. yeah, when you're looking down the hood, you're looking down a hood. And as I mentioned, when I have it in the garage, it's 3 feet longer than our big SUV. <laughs> and that's hard to believe until you see how packed it is. You know, you really have to squeeze it in. Now, I know some people think we're starting it cold. We're not. We've warmed it up give you a little of that sound right there, a little, little GS sound. That's wonderful. But you just kind of oh, float Oh yeah, you that. float. <laughs> that is great. Well, Debbie, I am so glad that Grandpa got that caught up in you, that, you know, to be the uh, car girl. And not only that, more importantly, that you've achieved one of your dreams of getting yourself your 71 Buick GS. And not only that, but, I mean, the condition of this car, it's a brand new car for all intents and purposes. I forget that it's not a new car sometimes because it all, everything is really well done. So well done. Well, first of all, Debbie, thank thank you for sharing your car with us, and thanks for being on my car story. Thank you, Lou. I really enjoyed it.